Hello. In today's episode, we're going to talk about JD Studio firmware updates and how they can be applied to all your JD receivers and JD accessories. Um, it'll automatically install the JD updates for you by choosing the correct firmware uh, for your device, receiver, or sensor, and uh, allowing you to apply those updates automatically. So first, let's get started. Uh, you will need to have the Jetty USB adapter, which you can get from the Jetty USA shop. And I'll show you that here. We'll go to this uh, web page here from the Jetty USA shop. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And here we have the Jetty telemetry USB adapter. Here you can see it's a USB adapter with a servo connector coming from it. And this is the device that you'll need to purchase in order to do firmware updates from Jetty Studio on your computer to your receivers and sensors. Next, you'll need to have the VCP drivers for your Mac computer. If you have a Mac, these are the drivers that you'll need. I'll display the web page where you can download these drivers on the screen. Um, these are the drivers that you need to install in order for the uh, USB adapter to work with your Mac computer. Um, on the page here you can see they have drivers for various different versions of the operating system. Um, here you can choose the latest one which is 2.4.2. Download these drivers and install them on your computer. Uh, I won't go over um, how to install them. I think you can figure that part out. But these are the drivers that you'll need for the USB adapter to work on your computer. When you plug the USB adapter in Make sure that there's a green light showing on the USB adapter. Also for your receiver, make sure that the servo connector is plugged into the EXT port of the computer. Now let's get started. Open up your Jetty Studio application and we'll go to Tools on the menu bar. Now we'll go to Device Updater. Here you'll see the uh, USB adapter showing up as being connected and it's asking you to please reconnect your device. So you'll unplug it, plug it back in from the servo connector on your receiver. And here you'll be able to see the current version of the firmware that is installed on your receiver. Right now we have 1.0.3. Over here on the left, you can see the various versions of firmware that are available for the receiver. The newest version is 1.1.0. Over next to that on the right, you can see a description of this firmware update which explains all the different features that have been added in this new version of the firmware. Um, so now we click update and then the file starts to update and it pulls the latest version from the web and installs it onto your computer um, very quickly. And now we can see that uh, it's done. What we'll want to do is we'll want to take the, uh, it, the servo connector from the receiver and unplug it and we'll have to uh, check to see that the latest version of the firmware is installed. So we'll close the device updater window and then we'll plug the receiver back in and we'll go up to tools on the menu bar, go back to device updater and then unplug it, plug it back in again and then it'll show up here in the device updater and now we can see from the device updater window that the firmware version that's installed on the receiver now is the newest one, which is version 1.1.0. So this is a very useful feature of the Jetty Studio application as it shows you uh, how to update your firmware. Uh, you also want to double check to uh, make sure that you have the correct uh, port selected for the USB adapter. Um, on the PC, it'll say something different. It'll say like a COM port, but on the Mac, you'll see that information there. So uh, now that we've updated the firmware, we can close the window. And this was how to update the firmware from your Jetty Studio application.